Today is part two of section one. Yesterday we learned exactly what a polynomial and monomials were. Today we're going to learn how to add and subtract polynomials. Okay? Um, so to add or subtract polynomials, you combine like terms. You're going to hear me say that over and over again. Combine like terms. Combine like terms. So we need to figure out what exactly like terms are. Like terms are terms of the same degree and variable. Okay? So you need to be looking at the same letter and the same exponent. Okay? So we're just going to jump right into examples. Here we have 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus x plus 2x squared plus x cubed minus 1. Okay, so here we have two different polynomials and we are going to add them together. So what we need to do is we need to look for like terms. Okay, so I'm going to start right here. We have an x cubed, 2x cubed. Okay? We need to look through the rest of our problem for another x cubed. That's an x squared. That's an x. That's an x squared. Hey, we have an x cubed right here. Right there. Okay? This is an x squared, which I will label using a square. Make sure that you include the sign. This negative sign belongs to the following term. So this is an x squared, now I'm looking for other x squareds. This is also an x squared. Okay, now I have an x, which I will use a triangle for. Do I have any other x's? Nope, so that one's by itself. And then I have this negative one, which I will use as an underline. It is by itself, okay? So now when we're combining like terms, we just combine like shapes, okay? So we're going to start with our x cubes, which are these two. Okay, when you're combining like terms, the label or the term itself stays the same. So when I'm, if I'm dealing with x cubes, I stay with an x cube. Okay, so you keep the label, and then what you do is you add or subtract, depending on the problem. Here we're going to add just the coefficients. Okay, so here I have a coefficient of 2 here. Since nothing is written, it's understood that I have a coefficient of 1. So 2 plus 1 is 3. 3x Three cubed. Okay, now I'm going to move on to my x squareds, which are right here. x squareds, I keep the label, which is x squared, and now I just add the coefficients. So I have negative 5 plus 2. Negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3. So I have negative 3x squared. The x I cannot combine with anything else, so that stays. And the negative 1 does not combine with anything else either, so that stays as well. So these two polynomials, when you add them together, you get 3x cubed minus x squared plus x minus 1. Okay? Do a couple more examples. And then call it a day. Alright, first example. We're still going to be adding here. So we have 3x squared plus x minus 6 plus x squared plus 4x plus 10. Okay, if you don't like the horizontal way, what we just did, what you can also do is do it vertically, where you can just go ahead and stack things that are already like terms. So if we take our first polynomial and rewrite it here, I'm going to have 3x squared plus x minus 6. And then I'm adding this other polynomial. So now as I'm adding this polynomial, I want to stack like terms together. So if this one is my x squared, I want to put my x squared with it. So this x squared is going to sit right below it. This is my x, so those two go together. This is my x. I want to stack my 4x underneath that one. And then my numbers, my constants, are also going to go together. Plus 10. Okay? It, this one happened out nicely where they're all in the same order, which was great. If you have to rearrange some of them, that's okay. Alright? So here now I'm just going to add like terms. So all of my labels are going to stay. I'm going to have an x squared, an x, and then some number. 
and now our job is to just add the coefficient. So here I have 3 plus 1, which is 4, so I get 4x squared. I have 1 plus 4, which is a positive 5. And then here I have negative 6 plus 10, which is 4. And that is your answer. If you're more comfortable with the other way where we made the shapes and we just add them as it is, you can do that as well. This is just another way that you can do it. Okay? All right, moving on. We are going to subtract. Remember, subtraction is the same thing as adding the opposite. Okay? So here we're going to have 4n squared plus 5 minus this entire polynomial. Negative 2n squared plus 2n minus 4. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to combine like terms. I'm going to start off, I have this n squared. And I have this n squared as well. I have this constant, which is a positive 5. And I have this constant, which is a negative 4. And then I have this 2n by itself. Okay? So if I start with my n squared, I'm going to have 4 minus negative 2. 4 minus negative 2. 4 minus negative 2. Minus negative becomes positive, so we get 6n squared. Okay, if you need to write it out like that, that's fine. But keep in mind that we are subtracting. That will be the number one thing that people will forget. I'm going to see a 2 here more often than not than a 6. So make sure that you subtract when it says subtract. Okay. Then I have this minus a 2n. So this negative is actually going to attach itself to that 2n because it's after it. So it's like you have 0 minus 2n since you have nothing in front. 0 minus 2n is going to give you a negative 2n. And then here I have 5 minus negative 4. So if you have 5 minus a negative 4, that gives you positive 9. So our answer here is 6n squared minus 2n plus 9. Okay? If we had decided to do that one vertically, we could have done 4n squared plus 5 minus, we would have aligned our n squared. This, my negative 4, would have been right here. And then with nothing else, I would have put my 2n right here because it doesn't attach itself to anything from the first one. And then you would be doing the same process. So your n squared would stay. 4 minus a negative 2 gives you 6. 5 minus a negative 4 gives you 9. And then you have this 0. 0 minus 2n is negative 2n. Okay. Same thing, just written in a different order. Okay? All right. Then, last but not least, we have this subtraction. If you just don't like subtracting at all, and you would prefer to add, I'm going to show you a trick that what you can do, okay? What we can do is if you want this to be an addition problem, you can take this whole part right here, excuse me, this whole part right here, and multiply by a negative 1, and then this will become addition. So if you multiply everything by negative 1, this will become plus this positive 3x squared times negative 1 will become negative 3x squared. This negative x times a negative 1 will become positive x. And this negative 8 times a negative 1 will become positive 8. Okay? And now you have an addition problem. Easy as that. If you did not follow that, do this. I don't want to confuse you. If you did not follow what I just did, do this. But if this makes sense, you're changing the addition sign, uh, the subtraction sign to addition, and then changing all the signs in between. That's a trick that you can do so that you don't lose a negative. Okay. And now we just combine like terms. So I have my x squared. Four plus negative three gives me one. I have my x's, which is negative 3 
plus 1, which is negative 2. And then I have my constant, 8 plus 5, which is 13. And that is your answer. That is adding and subtracting polynomials.